is in session in Kelso. The new and improved Brunelands Primary has opened its doors for the first time. In traditional fashion, students and staff were piped in with instruments played by pupils and former pupils of the school. Really exciting really and sometimes I feel nervous, sometimes I don't. It was just really surreal just to play for my own school and from the old school to the brand new building that um, is great, amazing. The new facility replaces this one, Broomland's old primary school campus. Originally built in 1980, its days are numbered, with demolition due to be completed by the summer. And luckily for pupils, the new campus is just a stone's throw away. It has taken just over a year and cost almost £10 million to go from dream to reality. The building hosts 12 classrooms, a new dining room, sports hall and playing areas. It's absolutely fantastic and we've watched it over the last 14 months being built and going up but actually nothing prepares you for the amazing feeling that you get when you walk in. With the new Kelso High School opening just a few months ago and Jebra's intergenerational campus now given the green light, Scottish Borders Council say there are more school redevelopment projects on the horizon. And it shows the commitment that this council has to the young people of the borders. We want to see them achieve and attain much more and much better and they need the buildings to enable to do that. So we're really committed to rolling this programme out. Currently, work is taking place to create a new centre at Galashiels Academy and a new nursery at St Boswell's Primary School, changing the educational landscape and building the brains of the borders. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Kelso.